Next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. The last is the Chichijo Kidalu Show, the Ultimate Championship between Bruce Lee and Bay Rock. I hope you guys can like it. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out fighting. You ready? side clearly the more well-rounded fighter yet when we sat down with him on thursday first words out of his mouth he ain't gonna submit me i'm gonna try to take him down oh my goodness <laughs> and you laughed just like that because you know how much of a joke this is you want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs i know he has bravado i know he has a big ego but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch landed through the middle. We're trying to double up on that jab. Relax, relax. Big leg kick lands. 
big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. And there comes the separation now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. What a tricky head kick. Slips. Wow. Lands the right hand. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That was a thudding leg kick. Got the single power tie. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Circling to his right. I mean, he's cutting it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with that right hook. Straight punch land. Nice leg kick land. He is all about that left kick to the body. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Take him down. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Nice counter. Oh, there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, a huge block there. Massive head kick. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Back and forth we go! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. It's such a fast leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Nice punch land over the top. Right to next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Right there by Lee.
Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, collar tie. Oh! It's a good right hand right there. Way to hide that leg kick. He can't even, he can barely stand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bike. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh! Not tapping out tonight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Switch, knee lands to the body. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Keep grinding, get that takedown. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Visibly limping here. Let him go, time to let those hands go. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Continues to land a high number of strikes and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice strike. Just out of range with that right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle.
All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. In the tie clinch, look for the knee to start. Into the body by Lee. And yet again, finding the right distance and range and landing another punch. He's got a decided reach advantage in this one. Big kick land. It's a follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big knee to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Head kick partially blocked. Connects with a punch there, DC. Oh. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. And they both stand up. All right, single collar tie now. Well, did that one appear to stun him? He's a drunk. He's hurt bad. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Able to check the high kick. Powerful leg kick land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just missing on the counter there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Punch lands over the top. Just missed with that right hand. 
Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young well, man. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Back to the feet now. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 20 seconds to go. Real sneak by the Final seconds of round three. Good. Three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible okay, five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Dig and kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch there by Liz. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, big punch land. Head kick. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Missed with that right hand. Nice leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, nice right here. Some nice back and forth action here. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, so he dedicated 
decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you got to take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight, and you got to take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done. The wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions. Certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Grandmaster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Good to see you on the mic. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. skills we don't care what John what John it doesn't matter John it doesn't matter it does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler this guy's diff different level yeah this guy's next level you want to avoid this at all costs maintain distance do not go and grapple this guy 
And there comes the separation now. Ooh, head kick lands and hurts. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. He landed the right hand there. Pretty good right hand. Yes, he gets up the kick it tonight and it shows. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Under three minutes now to go in the round. combination there and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take honestly the night is almost over if you keep getting hit with punches like this you are going to sleep Let's get going. Lee going for the head kick he misses there nice double leg shot oh he slams him down with authority well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. And back to his feet. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. What a punch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Nice one-two there. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice punch man the top. Just misses with the straight left hand. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Authority. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we are, early round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just missed on the front kick there. And he big comes knee. through with a big knee. Slips. Trying to establish that jab once again. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Beautiful body. Back hit. and forth we go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Shot clock by Lee. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Just misses with that one. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and over the top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Checks the light kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man. <laughs> jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have time. Well, looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.